Fusion is starting its own digital network. Chris Farley's documentary has a release date. And Stephen Colbert chooses his band leader. Well, looks like I gotta get a band leader now. How about, oh, ugh, this thing. This will be a good band leader, right? We'll see on this episode of C Plus News Time. It's C Plus News Time with your host, Chad White. Welcome back to C Plus News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the comedy news you didn't know about for the week of June 1st, 2015. A lot of news happened this week, including Gracie and Frankie Netflix stars Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin searching for equal pay for women in Hollywood, starting with their show, Gracie and Frankie on Netflix. Now, they have about 7,000 people behind them and, and signatures on this petition going towards Hollywood saying, hey, we want women with equal pay. It's called the Care2 uh, petition, and it's got 7,000 signatures, and it's got supporting players, including Martin Sheen and Sam Watterson. All of these people really want women to get equal pay. Now, it's weird because it's 2015. We shouldn't be talking about this stuff anymore. Everybody should be paid equally, and we shouldn't be searching for these women-lady-led TV shows. Everybody should get an equal chance. I know this week that Nikki Glaser was chosen to have another show, a show on Comedy Central, her first show, and everybody's comparing it to Amy Schumer. They shouldn't be talking about that stuff. We need to be comparing these women to, to men, like Key and Peele. I want to hear this, I want to hear the same conversation of, of Amy Schumer talking about Key and Peele. I don't care about these weird sexist things anymore. It's stupid. We, sh it's, we should be over all of this, and nobody should be talking about these things. Listen, if you're listening out there, sexist people of Hollywood and racist people in that fact too, because I read this Hollywood Reporter article that had Lena Dunham, Amy Schumer, you know, a bunch of other people, the girl from Jane the Virgin, Gina Rodriguez is her name, and they all talked about, and a few other ladies, they all talked about race and women in, in Hollywood. And this shouldn't be a conversation anymore. But listen, you sexist and racist of Hollywood, if you're watching this video, and I doubt you are, stop doing the bad things you do. Equality for everybody. And now, on with the news. The first story of the day is Fusion is gonna launch its own digital studio called F Comedy. Now, I was really afraid when I first saw this and I thought they were doing F minus comedy. And they saw my site and saw C plus comedy and I was gonna sue the shit out of them. But uh, obviously they're not doing that. Now, Fusion will produce short form videos, long form series, and comedy news for this new website and kind of weird uh, online digital portal to com everything that's comedy everything. They're partnering with Upright Citizens Brigade for exclusive content as well as YouTube. They're gonna have a channel up with a few videos on it with a few crude animations. I haven't seen any of these personally myself, but I did look on the channel and I can confirm that the videos were there. The Fusion Chief Digital Officer says, it's crafted with social distribution in mind and the Chris Gethard Show and Know You Shut Up or Recent Comedy Gets for the Network. So this is gonna be interesting to see what they do going forward, especially with the Upright Citizens Brigade. Fusion seems to be going along with this indie comedy thing, especially with Chris Gethard and Paul F. Tompkins on No You, no, you Shut Up, but everything seems to be going well for them. They're basically IFC, but if IFC were, just had a little bit less money. Next up, the Chris Farley documentary date is set in stone. I Am Chris Farley has been acquired by Virgil Films, and they're gonna, of course, distribute it under their name. It follows Farley from his start in Madison, Wisconsin, and Marquette University to Second City, SNL, and then eventually Films. You know, Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, all the really, really good stuff. Now, interviews include Christina Applegate, Dan Aykroyd, Mike Myers, Molly Shannon, Adam Sandler, David Spade, as well as his four of the siblings, one of which wrote a book about Farley, the older Farley, the brother, the brother, of course, Chris. <laughs> Uh, Spike will air it first on August 10th, and then it'll be made available on Video On Demand, or VOD, for you young folk. And finally, those of you who are afraid that Stephen Colbert wasn't going to have a band leader and he's going to have to play the flute the entire time, you can drop your fears because he's chosen a band leader and the name of John Baptiste. Now, this guy is from New Orleans. He's a very, very, very talented musician, and he's young. He's around 28, and he's been playing for basically his, the latter half of his life. He's played on Stephen Colbert's show on Comedy Central, and that's where Colbert really learned of him. Now, this guy is going to bring a whole talented slew of people that he played with and a band at when he went to school at Juilliard. Of course, he's a Juilliard grad. 
Colbert and his crew at The Late Show have been launching things all week, including a YouTube channel, a Twitter, an app, a website, and all the really good things that come with being a host of a Late Show in this modern age. Now, Letterman didn't really do all that stuff, but that's no knock to him. He just wasn't into all of it. Now Colbert seems to be on the forefront. He looks like he's gonna take Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon down. Batiste is thrilled to be part of this show, and we can't wait to see what happens in September with the new Late Show. And that's all the news I have for you on this week's News Time. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see more, why don't you click on uh, one of these videos right here. Got a, got a weird little extra thing for you. I mean, if you want to see me do weird things, then you know I'd go over there. Or you can subscribe, like here-ish, if you want. Hopefully, it's all right there. If it's not, I look like a freaking idiot, okay? Uh, go on Facebook, like us, go on the Twitters, follow us, go to the Tumblers, Tumbles and stuff, go Xbox Live, Nintendo Network, uh, PSN, yeah, and uh, don't forget to tip your waitresses. Have a good day. I love you. Thank you for watching. I always don't know how to stand to end this thing. This is just so weird to me.